Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five things that you should know how to do with Google Calendar. Let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you should know is how to create a calendar. So by default, Google Calendar is going to give you a calendar that's named after you or your user account. And you'll see some reminders, tasks, and birthdays there by default. But if you're going to share your calendar with somebody else or with a group of people, you probably don't want to share the calendar that's your personal calendar with them. So instead, let's create a new calendar. Let's go to other calendars on the left-hand side here. If you don't see that, just go ahead and hover over on the left-hand side and it'll appear. Let's add another calendar and create new calendar. Let's call this one my fall 2021 calendar for Mr. Burns students. And we'll call it a calendar of important dates. Now let's go ahead and create that calendar. So I've now created that calendar and let's configure the calendar. And down here, we can say the calendar is only available to people in my domain, or I can make it available to the public. And if I make it available to the public, I can say see all event details or show only if I'm free or busy. If I'm making it public for the purpose of telling people about events that are coming up, I'm going to want to show them all event details. Or if it's just for people who are in my domain, my students, my colleagues, I'm going to leave it as just available in the domain. Now we can get a shareable link here. We can copy that link and give that link to people to see the calendar itself. But let's say I'm working on a teaching team and I want to invite one of my colleagues to work on this calendar with me. I'm gonna add a person. So let's add Mason. And Mason here is going to be able to make changes and manage sharing. And I'll send him that invitation and now he can help me maintain this calendar as well. So those are the first couple of things you should know how to do. Next, let's take a look at another way to share this calendar besides a shareable link. If we scroll down here to integrate calendar, we can actually embed this calendar into a web page or into a blog post by just copying and pasting that code and putting it into our blog editor or our website editor. Now let's take a look at some other features of this new calendar that I've created. So let's go back to the default page here. I'm going to turn off everything except for the calendar I'm currently working on, which is my fall 2021 calendar. And I want to now create something on this calendar. Let's say I'm going to have an event. I'm going to have, um, let's say, you know, open house for parents. And I'm going to have this one, not at 9 a.m. I'm going to have this one at 7 p.m. And it's not going to repeat. It's going to be a one-time event. It's not going to be a video conference. It's going to be an actual in-person event. So I'm going to save it as such. Now, I can also, in those event details, let's go and edit that event again. I can add more information, like please remember that you need to wear a mask when inside school. I can also add attachments here. So if I have some PDFs that I wanna hand out to parents in advance, I could attach those. I could put in links and of course I can 
do all my text formatting that I'd like as well with bolded lists or inserting um, some different formatting. So let's save that as is. Now let's add in another capability in this calendar. Let's say that every Thursday afternoon at three o'clock, I'm going to have office hours. But I don't want people just dropping in unannounced. I want to have them sign up for an appointment slot of 10 minutes. And we'll save that. And we'll see my office hours now has this appointment page for this calendar. And I can give this link to my students and they can go ahead and sign up for one of these blocks of time to meet with me. But I'm going to go in and edit this event so that it repeats weekly on Thursday. So every Thursday, I will have appointment slots available. And now if we refresh this, and we go to the next week, we'll see office hours appear there, and the next week, 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 until I decide to not have office hours on Thursday afternoons anymore. Now, the fifth thing you should know how to do with Google Calendar is manage your tasks or your to-do list. So over here on the right-hand side, we'll see a task button. And we can add a task and we'll say, take out the trash. And we're gonna add a time for this. Let's say it's Thursday. And we're gonna do that at 1 p.m. Click OK. And now that's on my task list. But over here, if we turn on tasks, we'll see there's one of my other tasks. And let's go and check my other one here for the 30th. Let's click OK on that one. And we'll see that that one is also now on my task list and on my calendar. So those are five features of Google Calendar that you should know how to use. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.